Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the What's Good podcast. We are apparently 10,000 away from... Yeah, from 900k. 900k. And once we get to 900k, we can really start begging it. Oh, bro, we, we were saying, <laughs> in, we were talking on WhatsApp, and we were like, when we get to 900k, it's practically a mil. Yeah. So we can be like, oh, guys, you, you wouldn't want to, like, you know. We're so close to a million, come on. But yeah. until we hit 900k, it's just kind of sad. Yeah. Well, so please do you want to donate one pound a month to help these famished YouTubers hit one million on the What's Good podcast? I'm not famished, as you can tell. <laughs> Also, I realise I left my battery on, and you hate when I do that, don't you? It looks like a like a Niki backpack. Yeah, Ben Ten. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, you don't have to take it off for me. I you want know, you to, to impress me. Charge it, you know what I'm saying? Sort of hundred percent. Nice. Don't need to do that to myself. But I was going to say, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh. You know yeah. it works. You ever watch a TV show? No, never a Yu-Gi-Oh fan. But no, no. Okay, that's fine. But you never saw the uh, thing they no. have in their arms. Uh oh, yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. So in the game, so yeah. the, the, the whole TV show is based on the card game. Yeah, kind of cool. Um, so they have like this thing on their arm. They play a card down like Blue Eyes Blue Eyes White Dragon, and then Blue Eyes White Dragon will show up on. By the way, there's a, there's a streamer who made a sick uh, OVS thing that when they play in real life and they put a card down, it will. It will, that thing, yeah, it will literally holograph the actual uh, Yu-Gi-Oh thing up. That's so cool. He plays, he plays Blue Eyes White Dragon and it pops up on the screen. It's sick. But yeah, on TikTok, I'll be scrolling and a, a live stream will pop up and it's two Donnellys playing Yu-Gi-Oh with this though. <laughs> so they're just there with the thing on their arm. But with like, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Both of them have got it on each and the camera's on them. But um, yeah, shit's wild. Weird intro. But... That was that was a very weird intro. Yeah, yeah no, never a Yu-Gi-Oh fan. I was like the Yu-Gi-Oh Like when Harry got really into it. You see when yeah, like yeah, when yeah. everyone started talking about Pokemon all the yeah. time and we started like, you did box breaks and stuff. And yeah. Harry was always like, oh, I want Yu-Gi-Oh boxes. Never got it. No. He Don't never bought that it. box, did he? Well, he, he bid. He bid, but he, he bid over $10,000 no, on it. No, 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 bro. I don't know if it's public knowledge. It was like 400 grand. Yeah. He didn't win it. So he, no, no, no. He, yeah, he, he ended it. at 400 grand. He did not spend that on that. He might have bid 10 grand, but he didn't win that. But it was like, tw- it was a case of 24, I think, to be fair. Yeah. Or 12. Yeah. So it was not like a bad purchase either. I mean, it might have gone down now, but. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing box breaks again soon. He must be really happy he didn't get that. Either. Oh, for sure, yeah, for sure. Because I don't think he, he would have opened like one or two of them. Yeah, and been like, oh, I hold the rest. Yeah, and then the price would just kept going down and down. If, if you're not if you're not in the actual like hobby properly, it's very like easy to buy something like that and then see it drop, 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 drop. Yeah. Whereas if you're in the hobby, at least you can sell or you understand that maybe it'll go back up again. I think I bought a base box and it's now down a lot. Like, I still want to buy a base box. Well, now's the good. Now's the best time. Probably get it for like 12 do you, grand. Do you know? Yeah, I can find you one. Yeah? For sure, yeah. Yeah? Well, yeah. But I'm doing breaks again soon, vintage ones. Yeah? yeah? I'm going to keep that back I'm up in. again I'm once in. a week. Yeah. Nice, Send me nice. the link. Uh, well, well, well. the thing is, I changed the way I did it. I don't even notice. Well, you don't, not not since you guys did you it. You just have the, all of them. Do it live now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, like, you, I used to save you guys packs. Like, well, you'd pre I kind of hate it, though, that you do it live, because then I just, like... You never get a chance now. Well, I just buy one. Oh. And then I got to wait. <laughs> yeah, and then no, I yeah, eventually true, get true. it. Yeah. And it stinks. Yeah. And I go. I just didn't have one. Yeah. And then I, I got all eight. <laughs> yeah. Whereas when I know like I've got one pack in this whole box, I just know when roughly when I'm coming. Yeah. Or someone can message you and be like, you're up now. Something yeah. Like that, and then know? I do, yeah. Or then I tune in. You know? And then I can't get another one. So I'm fine. I'm yeah. Like, if yeah, I do yeah, badly, yeah. Calm. Yeah, I'll probably switch it up. I'll probably do a bit of both, you know, like live ones. Because the thing is, I mean, the live one definitely works better. It, it works better, but it's not. It's not like a guarantee it'll sell out if that makes sense. Because it's not. It's not like a pre-ordering of it. Yeah. Um. Or announcement for it, you know. But but yeah, I will also say that I got sucked into FIFA packs again. I know. Because I messaged you, right? I know. So I packed the Bruins. So obviously, Danny Aaron's been like putting loads of money. You've been putting loads of money on and yeah. didn't get one at, at, at that point. I had got some at that point. Oh, okay. But I did uh, I did the attackers first. Yeah. And I think I, I did uh, a grand in yeah. pounds. Yeah. And I got Benzema. Yeah. Then I did the midfielders. Yeah. And I planned on spending less than a grand. Went well over a grand. Yeah. <laughs> and got no one. Then I did the defenders and midfield uh, defenders and goalkeeper the next day. Got yep. Courtois, yep. put that into one video. Then did the next one. Opened a hundred packs that I'd saved up on my account. Yeah, yeah. Plus spent another like two grand, <laughs> oh, and I got Van Dyke. Oh, stinky! Like it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's Van it's, Dyke, it's, it's, but it's. Bro, I mean, it's not worth two grand. And the rush you get there when you see blue is unreal. Yeah. Have you have you opened some recently? No, because I didn't want to see the fake blues. I didn't want the, the uh, honorable mentions. Yeah, I didn't want. Yeah, them. I keep getting. Um, my nan, the keeper. Yeah. He's French, obviously. So I keep thinking I'm getting Mbappé. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's specifically why I didn't yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I, so I got De Bruyne and sent you a picture. But at that point, I only spent like 200 quid. Yeah. I spent more over the year, like now and then, I've been packs. But it's such, you know what? It's bad when you get someone because then I want that feeling again. Yeah. Like, so then I, I've spent way more than that since then. And you know what's funny though? I was, on, I was on like a call and I was like, um, the fact that, like, how do I say this? The fact that I'm a YouTuber and you lot are also YouTubers and you make videos for like FIFA. Yeah. When I'm doing it, I'm kind of like, I know my accountant's gonna be like, bro, what's all this Microsoft and what's all this like, you know, um
these FIFA points. But I'm like, they're just gonna think I'm making videos because all you lot do it. Let's not incriminate yourself. <laughs> no, 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 not in that regard. No, 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 not, not, in, not, in, not in the reporting regard. I'm saying more like the account is judging me. Oh, I, yeah, I, I yeah. have a problem with them judging me what I'm doing. Yeah. Like, you remember I told you I used to gamble all the time? Yeah. And I was like, damn it, they're going to be really upset with me. And then my account <laughs> yeah. watched this clip and messaged me. He was like, oh, it's, it's funny, you know? But um, yeah, but I'm like, but I actually start recording them. But I don't put them anywhere. See, I'm not going to lie, right? You could sell those clips. Even for 50 quid, you could get your, your pack money back. But the worst part is I can't even, like, I forgot to even clip them. On my Xbox, I should do that. Yeah, I should clip them, fake them, and just do it on TikTok. The issue is because of like your kit and stuff like that, you can't really sell it. If you know what I mean, my kit. Like, well, back in the day, I think at one point they used to walk out in like their kit or something. Oh, or, like, I see what you're saying. So if I had your clip, it would randomly be put in. Oh, you mean I can, I can like sell it to someone like Harry? Yeah, that old maybe not Harry, but uh, yeah, I didn't know that. I don't know if that still happens, but I know people used to just go on like Xbox and find highlights of other people <laughs> packing true. stuff and just put those yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'd be like, "Yeah, I didn't even open. You know, I opened ten packs. Yeah, use those, and then just went and found a bunch of footage. It's mental. Yeah. It's, it's honestly one of the. It's one of the most like it's one of the biggest waste of money I've ever seen in my life. Hundred percent. Like, but I love it though. Yeah, because it's the, it's one of the only games as well. I, like I get. You know, like Valorant cosmetics and stuff yeah. don't really help. No. I don't think they're, they're not. It's not paid to win. They don't help. Whereas at all. this is, but you're not guaranteed anything, and it only lasts a year. And yet, as soon as the year's done, everything's gone, yeah. and it's literally worth nothing. I will say that when I did get the Broy, I sold him and then bought Beckham. Like, and he's unreal. He is, yeah. And I love that. Like, I just love. I'm, ha I'm happy playing with B Beckham. But like, <laughs> the thing is, you pack someone like the Broy, something like three million coins, and you should just stop buying packs. Oh yeah. But as now I buy more because I want that again. Yeah. As soon as you pack one of the new players, sell it, and you're good for the game. You know, I realised they always give you someone good when you're like at the bottom of your FIFA points. Yeah. So they like they want me to top up. Yeah, the amount of times I think I've done it like three times now, where I've gone like, all right, I'm actually gonna stop now. I'm pissed. Yeah, yeah. Last pack, and I get an icon. Yeah, and you just—it's never a good one or anything. But, but I'm like, feeling, man, but that's all see? I needed. Yeah, man. Oh, God, I just uh, get so smiling. But I also now my my store doesn't work. Oh, doesn't let me doesn't let me buy more packs. I'm so now if, I'm on CD keys. <laughs> <laughs> Typing codes, and you don't even even that. Yeah, but you got blocked yeah. and stuff. It is weird because every year has been, you know, I've, I've done FIFA Team of the Year every yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like this is the first year where I genuinely think I'm done after. Now FIFA's dead. Yeah. Like I want to do Big Brother Clubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not going to play Ultimate Team. I'm going to Oh, do, you mean it's dead from like... As in I'm not going to... I don't play it off camera. This year, you mean? Yeah. Okay, So FIFA you. 23, I don't play the game off camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now Team of the Year's happened. I probably have two episodes left just getting yeah. the new Drogba. Yeah, yeah. And then true. doing like a, the end of the yeah, series. makes sense. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Which is weird. Normally I'm like, how long can I do the series for and try and get all the way through? I get gas, Team of the Year comes yeah. out. Now they'll do- Content and that. Yeah, they'll do like, I don't know, shapeshifters and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I just don't care. Shapeshifters, yes. <laughs> but I, I don't really get all the like the content and stuff. I just I just like playing like champs. Yeah. So I can qualify now, so, you know. <laughs> well, now you play AI. You can do, yeah. Because uh, I'm not good enough though. Oh. I think because the, the AI, for those who don't know, if someone plays on PC, they can hack it so that AI plays for them. It's ultimate AI. So they're, Yeah, they're but I think people are just getting matched up against AI oh, in general. Okay. I think mad. I might be wrong, Yeah, but I'm pretty certain people are just coming up against AI and mad. it'll be like a bronze squad. Oh, okay. Well, but I'm, it's ultimate. That. Yeah, ultimate. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I would, so it's just boring. I would lose against them. I can't, I, yeah, I wouldn't even, it wouldn't even be boring for me. It'd be like... I'd lose like 10-0. <laughs> that <laughs> you know? sounds boring. Yeah. But anyway, enough FIFA stuff. I just want to have Yes. The big right. news of the week for me. Yeah. Not for me. Is KSI documentary. Oh, yes. Came out. Yes. You know what? It's been a big week for everything. Well, the KSI documentary. Sam and Beta Squad collaboration. Yes. Mr. Beast came back with a video. Yeah. Um, that's probably it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Got the KSI job. documentary. And I, yeah. And I moved since the last yeah, one. Well. Yeah. 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 Uh, it was, I thought it was really good. I didn't go to the screening. I was meant to be away. I didn't. And then I, I saw so many people that we're like friends with do ads for it. Yeah. And I'm like, fair enough. I, if I got offered an ad yeah, and I was going, it, I'd do it. it. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just so weird. Like, do you not understand that you don't need <laughs> his friends to post about it? They probably will all post about it. I have one. You have an ad? Yeah. Do it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm doing you it. Get it done on, quick. On, Friday, no, no, probably, Friday, Friday. I was going to say, they're probably going to take it away from you after they see this. Yeah, true. <laughs> well, this, this is going to come out before the ad. True. 
Oh God! What do I do now? <laughs> Unlucky, bro. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm happy though. I mean, it's going to be a good one. I think with Tali, I think. Oh, you're doing that. That's show. different. That's not really an ad. Oh. I'm talking like people I'm went to paid. The, <laughs> no, I'm talking about people went to the premiere. Yeah, yeah. Just to go like, oh, I'm watching this doc. Like Toby and did it's it. like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, like <laughs> Toby, if Toby gets invited to the doc and goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. he'll do an Insta story. But though, he won't brand it the way they would want it. No, true. He, he won't be like, they want the hashtags. Yeah, they yeah, want yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's, that's, the thing is, it's kind of cool though, to be able to get paid to go and watch your friend's documentary. True. Yeah. True. I, I, didn't, I didn't go. I, I traveled back from London. So unfortunately, I wasn't in London at the time. But um, it looked good though. Premiere looked good. Yeah. I mean, JJ did actually ask us in the chat. He was like, no, I kind of want you guys to watch it yeah, on your yeah, own. Yeah. Like, not in a cinema. Yeah, just- yeah. Well, he, yeah. Because well, obviously, JJ hadn't, for I don't know, he hadn't seen it. Because <laughs> I saw he tweeted that. He, was, he tweeted out being like, um, just seen the documentary. And I saw some replies that were like, well, yeah, obviously. Yeah. But I know he didn't, he didn't have, he didn't see it. Like, yeah. it wasn't like, he couldn't change anything either. They, they made the documentary and that was what it was, which is quite. Yeah. Not noble of him necessarily, but it's scary, isn't it, to do that? To like yeah. open yourself up and not have any control on how it's going to look like. Yeah, because they could betray you in any way they oh, want. Oh, for sure. They could go, all right, this is a bit boring, so we're going to spice it up, and yeah. we're just going to make you look like a dickhead. Yeah. I um, <laughs> James always does this, man. <laughs> just walk just in, walk yeah. in, fam. <laughs> that door so was slow. It was moving, so it it, it, that made more noise. <laughs> but no, it's just the creepiness that you just. The, it's just eerie that something's changed. But the KSI documentary, I actually was on Twitch and I was like, um, someone asked me about it and I was like, oh, I'm not going to give him my opinion until the What's Good podcast. So I will do it now. Okay. And not forget, otherwise that was just a complete lie. Okay. But my opinion was that I liked it a lot. I thought it was very, very good. However, for me, um, it was not really like, it wasn't, in my opinion, it wasn't KSI in real life. It was just KSI in KSI's life. Because, I'll tell you why, <laughs> right? It was, but I, said, I, I did say a bit on stream. I was like, maybe because I know him so well, I'm so close to him. Yeah. I know that's not his real life, you know? Obviously, he did open up about his parents. We did see some glimpses of, like, his private life. At the end, it said that he's back with his girlfriend now. It opened up about him, like, splitting up with his girlfriend in the, at the time. Um, but other than that, the parents stuff and what I just mentioned, it was literally just him on tour, him doing his shows, him doing his fights, which we all see anyway. Like... You know, yeah, I get so we've that. seen vlogs about it. We've seen we've been at the festivals. Um, obviously, obviously those who went, and that's not a complaint because it is showing him and it's showing how it's celebrating him. And it didn't have to. It didn't have to be about his life, but because it was like real life, I wanted to see a bit more. Like, because because I also know how much they were filming. Yeah, like they were, they filming, were filming so, so much. yeah, and it was like from from so long ago. I couldn't believe that half the documentary is just in the uh, center point flat, which by the way you got absolutely muddered about. I know, yeah. So for those who don't know, it was like KSI <laughs> moves out of his flat with another Sideman member. <laughs> it's like, why yeah. did you put Sideman on it? Um, and obviously a lot of complaints that people have had that were saying that the Sideman weren't in it much, which is true. They weren't in it at all. It's weird as well, because they, they did film a lot yeah, yeah. with us. They came to shoots. They came, like Simon Sundays, right? Yeah, they came yeah, to yeah. a lot of things and they filmed it. The thing is like for and against it, I see, I see the side of like, okay, they want to focus on uh, like the parents, the brother, and the girlfriend. Yeah. Focus on that side. Oh, for sure. And for sure. you incorporate the tour because that's what spiraled stuff down. Yeah. You incorporate the boxing because that well, you was have to do anyway. you, have, you can't not film that. You have to do that. Yeah. I get that. But like Talia, for example, she really liked it. Yeah. But she she prefers normally when a documentary focuses on one thing. Yeah. yeah. Like she said, I would have watched a whole documentary on his tour. Yeah. I would have watched a whole documentary on that fight. Yeah. The fact that it kind of went like this, 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 this. Yeah. You don't get depth on anything. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Um, and I think if you're not going to get all the depth on all of it, like they're not going in depth on everything yeah. that they've covered, so why not cover more as well and yeah. inc- incorporate side men, incorporate his own whatever, yeah. like other stuff. Yeah. So it, it was a bit weird, but I really enjoyed what it was. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's more like a, it's not a criticism of it necessarily. It's just like a, well, it is a criticism, but it's not like saying I don't like it. Yeah. I still, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a good watch. Just surprising. Yeah. And also like, it's just, I think this, the hard part of, of it is because obviously he's so, he does so many different things. It's like, what do you focus on? Yeah. Because if you do what you said and you do focus just on the tour, you miss the fights. You know, it's just so hard, so hard to like nail him down and get like one yeah. aspect. I mean, but, I would have watched a, like a six part series. I would have done that. And I would have watched one based on the whole story yeah. of boxing, one based on the whole story of like a, uh, family. All or nothing type documentary. With like yeah. six episodes. That would yeah. be sick actually. They, have, I mean. they, have enough foot, they would have had enough footage. I know. That. But maybe that's <laughs> like, maybe it's more money to pay or, or maybe it's like yeah. uh, diplomatic reasons why they couldn't do that. But it's sick to see him have a documentary though. And it went number it one is. everywhere, right? Yeah, 37 countries, I yeah, think it yeah, was. Yeah. That's Bro, I was, sick. I, was, I was watching it on a call with um, Group Watch. That was fun. Because you can comment on it and you can talk to each That's other. That's pretty you know? sick. Um, 
It was a bit weird watching it not in like 1.5 though. <laughs> <laughs> I had to actually watch it in real time. It is nuts. Like the documentary is really good. Yeah. And it is, it's nice to see a different side of him that, I mean, we've seen it. Yeah. But uh, this is, it's so hard to see what it's like from someone that doesn't know him that well. Yeah. Because like I know, I knew pretty much all of it. Yeah. And I know more. Yeah. So I know like certain things where it's like, oh, they should have put that in. But is that, is that just our opinion then? You know what I'm saying? Like maybe like, maybe if we were just not knowing of him and that close to him, we'd have a much, much different different opinion on it. Is it because we are so close to it? No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. As in yeah. we can't see it from someone that doesn't know yeah, him. Yeah, true, true. Because yeah. like, yeah, there's certain times where like the whole Christmas thing. Yeah. Like the Christmas day. Yeah, yeah. That, that could have gone way more in depth. There's yeah. a lot more to yeah. it and stuff that, yeah. Yeah. But obviously it wasn't incorporated, but. It's because they were trying to make it ninety minutes. I think, like it, it's yeah, a, had a length. Feature that it film had to be. type thing. Yeah. yeah. What was what I want to know, and maybe you can tell me this because I didn't go to the premiere. This was this like the whole um, what's this? What's this? What's the documentary? Yeah, Luther. Yeah. What was the Luther part about? He produced it. Did you know? So he produced it. Yeah. yeah. But, but when I heard that that, and when I saw him at all the different events, and I thought that he was going to be like in it. Yeah. I thought he was, I thought he was gonna be presenting it, talking to JJ, interviewing him. Because also I think someone said, someone that we know said that they would have preferred an aspect of it that was narrated. Because we had the yeah. interview guy and the guy, Wes, his name was, who would ask questions, which is good obviously to get the answers, but it also would have been nice to have like a, like an, an, like a narrative to it. Someone being like, you know, I don't know. It just felt like it was that could have been a nice as well touch. where it's like London. It was like that. It could have been, yeah, it could yeah, have yeah. easily just been like, you know, oh, he headed back to London to do this or something. Yeah, yeah. I get what you mean. Yeah. Although it would, it could have been really weird. Also stuff like behind the scenes, like, oh, we saw behind the scenes of the tour a little bit, but I want to see like behind the scenes in, in the fight, in the right before a fight, right yeah. after a fight. Cause that's the stuff that even we don't see, you know? So it's like, what's it really like? But no, I mean, I guess it's hard for someone like JJ who is very online. You know what I mean? Like Travis Scott, you get you learn a lot because he's not, you know, even though he does music, he does tours. It's what, what's, he, what's he really like? He doesn't put anything online. Yeah, JJ every yeah. day on his second channel is giving his opinions, giving his personality out there. So we are, we're already connected to him. But it was a great documentary and I um, I, I liked it a lot. You made it, you made it in there quite a lot. Yeah, yeah. But that was because like the tour and stuff, the tour and festival, and then I guess the diss track stuff was in there a lot. But it's weird because it happened so long ago. Yeah. It's crazy. Like, but, I mean, it's like, so long you, got, ago. you got in there with the, yeah, you got the tour. So yeah. you performed at yeah. Reading. Yeah. Because that's the other thing. I said it in the chat. And I get that it was Leeds first, not yeah. Reading. Yeah. Leeds was like, Leeds was his first festival. Mm -hmm. So I get show it. But they filmed the whole of uh, Reading as well. They did, yeah. And yeah. they had all of his friends there. Yeah, yeah, true, Everything. True, like, true. it was a big, it was a big moment as well. Yeah, yeah. And I was kind of like, it's quite weird that they didn't just show a little bit of like everyone to yeah. him. Yeah. It's just true. Be like, you know, Here's the weekend later, he did. Reading yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, um, true. But yeah, it was, yeah, you made it in for the- uh, Diss tracks. For that, the diss tracks. Yeah. The, well, what's good made it Whoa, in. Oh, we made it in, let's yeah. go. Yeah. Woo! I was wearing the jumper. Were you actually? Yeah. Oh my God. I, I, I didn't wear it today for that reason, but I did go through my wardrobe and I was like, ah, yeah. <laughs> and I think it's got a stain on it. I think it had a, st or it had a stain on it. It's got lots of stains. Uh -huh. Uh, sorry. And then okay. you also made it in for the, me and you made it in for the moment where you said name a dead YouTube channel, Deji. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We were oh. man one and man two. Were we? Yeah. Were we? Yeah. So if you go on Amazon, Amazon <laughs> Man <has>, one. <laughs> they had that feature where- Who was man you, one? Who was man two? I think I'm man one. Of course, of course. <laughs> Fucking Amazon man. I think, because uh, basically I started streaming and loads of people were like, lol, man one. Yeah, yeah. Well, what about all what about the smaller creators, man? You, you know? But I mean, you I were know. man two for that bit. Yeah, yeah, but I was man- You I was, were Randolph. And I was man child. Yeah, that's a, that's a bad joke. I tried yeah. to put off like, <laughs> like the he was man. man. But it's funny, because in the documentary, in the, in the credit story, uh, the man and Deji are back to back. It's like random. By the way, it's so funny because it's like it shows all the songs. And it's like written by. Oh, yours is the only one that's like. Yeah. It's just like like written by Randall, produced by Randall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gangster. And then below that, it's um, there's just one because from Manchild to Ran. I think it's funny how they're back to back. Yeah. <laughs> also, the way they, the way they had to cut Deji's one. Yeah, he ran. I yeah, didn't like he ran. His, yeah, yeah, they didn't put that in. <laughs> they I'm just like, cancelled the line because it's like I didn't like his and. Yeah, it's a bit of a sus line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Would you guys Freedom. allow documentaries to be made about you? And if so, what would the themes be? Would I do a documentary? I wouldn't do a documentary about me. Have you ever thought about doing one for the Sidemen? I would do one about the Sidemen. Yeah, yeah. And um, we, actually, we actually are thinking of asking 
that documentary True. for the footage. Yeah, what the fuck, man? Because they so... have so much footage also, of the side men. Like, it's not always Amazon who shoot them. The Amazon have a company who will shoot yeah. it. So they, surely they don't want to get some bread from that. Yeah, because if they well, were, offering, they know. were shooting a lot. Like we have BTS with everything, yeah. but they were shooting stuff like Reading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was very side men orientated. Yeah, yeah. Well, troops, but Big, well, yeah, but yeah, you guys. Yeah, you know, that, that's a, that's a sick thing to have. Yeah, for so, sure. So, um, I'd do a side men one. I definitely wouldn't do my own. No, yeah, you you could though. Never say never. If you were forced to, what would the themes be? Like JJ's was about his family and about. Well, don't put, don't make us feel like shit, John. I'm just wondering. <laughs> I'm wondering what would you think you would concentrate on. Oh, um, I don't know. Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> How I felt playing my first Pokemon game. <laughs> um, I like try under at level five. You know. I really don't know. Like, I felt like my my entire kind of. YouTube career and everything has just kind of been like it's gone well, but it's just kind of been there. But, you know, it, I mean? it, like, hasn't, it hasn't. But it hasn't. No, been, but as in like I've worked, I've worked hard. No, I'm, but I'm, listen, I'll, it, it, yes, because of the field you're in, like you're in the, that field, so you feel like that. But for like someone who doesn't do this, it's not normal. You know what I'm saying? So for a documentary, it's going to be seen by people who aren't necessarily your fans or in this space. It's interesting. Like, you know, when you're talking in a cab, in a cab, and like, what do you do? I lie because I don't want them to tell them. Because to me, it's boring, but it's, to them, it's really interesting. You but know? Oh, you're when I have, when I like, when someone says, oh, what have you done this week? Yeah. I normally will say, oh, film. not much. It's like, oh yeah, we filmed a couple of videos. Yeah. And if they start delving into it and start, you know, saying like, what did you film this week? Mm -hmm. And like, what was it? There's normally something quite cool, but yeah. that's always sidemen. Yeah, I see that. So it would have to be more of a sidemen. Yeah. That's cool though. Every day for ten years. Yeah. Damn it, man! I just realised the, the YouTube Shorts is going to get monetized soon. Yeah. And we're going to be a bit late on the podcast to talk about that that specific thing. Yeah. Like, we'll will. come back though one day. Yeah. But no, I know what you mean. But you've you've had moments though, like this tracks has been a moment, you know. Yeah. Uh, moving house, you know, the behind the scenes would look cool, but, uh, but then yeah. you haven't had someone behind the scenes. That's the issue. That's the problem. Yeah. The issue is also everything. Everything's been filmed that's been put on. Like, yeah, yeah, it's on line. yeah. I haven't felt there's nothing. No, no Kanye West's friend who's been filming no. you since day one. I've always, I have actually said though, for, I've said it for about four or five years now. Have like, some, have someone. Oh, yeah. yeah, never did it. Yeah, never yeah, acted yeah. on it. But I was like, yeah. please, like, we should get someone to film all this stuff because it's yeah. sick. Because that would make it more interesting because you, you, you forget about moments as well. Yeah. Like the BTS we got of the charity match last yeah. year, we had that from the first three. Mm, yeah, true. Sick. True. Very true. Um, yeah, KSI Duck, very good. Very, also very proud. Like Sometimes it feels like when we talk about JJ, it's like we always critique it, but it's not that. It's just what he does though. Well, well, well what we'll like... say, his new song's shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I just thought it'd be funny to say after I said the first thing, but it's different, isn't it? It's not my kind of song. Yeah. It's way more like, you I don't know, what type? It? I did, yeah. Did get blocked? Uh no, just copyright I think. Oh, but you didn't bother anymore. No, I, 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 <laughs> she was just like, bro, I'll just <laughs> I'll accept it. I wouldn't I can't bother, bother anymore it. Yeah, but yeah, it's not my kind of music. I only react to swarms now. What do you think of his latest one? Well, it's just very short, but I I I, <laughs> like I couldn't say yeah, I couldn't say it was short because all my new songs that I'm doing is quite short as well. Recently, but they're verses still. But they're verses and yeah, this I mean, was, one was chorus. A, yeah, yeah, two yeah, lines, yeah. chorus, four lines, chorus. Yeah, four like a but, but I get it though. It doesn't matter, does it? Because it's, it's about the moment. So it's like yeah. all he's doing is promoting the fights and using. It. So it doesn't really matter how long it is, but it does feel weird because the chorus was longer than the verse. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, but no, JJ's song is just very different, isn't it? It's very different. It's very, it's very te technically good, I think. Like as a pop song, it's very good. But I think Josh mentioned it in his reaction video. I just, like he likes the uh, madness and you know the moment songs and I love those ones. Yeah, man. same. But that's just because I'm a rap, I'm a rap fan, so it's not really like not really my place to say anything. It's more just because like I think this one will do better than yeah madness. Probably will. yeah of course. But yeah. it's just there's not there's not much there for me. No, I kind of no. just I'll put it on, I'll just be on. Yeah, and I'll, I won't think about it. Yeah, but that's, that's it. after the holiday did so well. It's like that's the direction that a lot of the music will go in. Yeah, hundred percent. I, I do get it, and it was it is still good. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I said it yeah. sounded like a good FIFA FIFA yeah, menu yeah, song. Yeah. yeah, true. Like one of those ones where you're like, oh, I won't mute this one. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Still, yeah. Well, well, the heat waves, glass animals, that went yeah. massive. Yeah, like one of the, that's probably it's back in the charts, isn't it? If, well, I don't think it ever left. Really? I don't think it left. Go into go into Which the is nuts, charts. though, because I swear it was FIFA like. A couple it years, was a few it was. years ago, but you also you know what I found out. You know the last Oliver Tree song, uh, "Miss You." I think. Na 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 na. Yeah, it's on yeah. TikTok. You know, you definitely. Oh yeah, the one that's like really fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that was his on his album uh, on his album three albums ago. Mad. It was a slow like rap song, the and then. Was called Jerk. 
Yeah, yeah and then someone someone remixed it. And then Bridge his label, the no, but then his label remixed the remix themselves and put it out as this new single. Wasn't that the one that got loads of controversy around it? Yeah, there's a lot of controversy around it. I asked Oliver um, when he was here. Oh. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if he yeah, there was there was there was some. Oh, because this, this can it. go in. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not. But then I never. I, I just saw there was controversy around it. I was like, I don't care. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna. Yeah. Mad weeks on chart 111. <laughs> so where Which, is it right now? How do you know where it's it is? It's right fifth. Now? That's peak position. Oh, sorry, yeah. Is it? Is it, is it still Maybe it's there? not in charts anymore then. Go down a little bit. Maybe it'll tell you history. Uh, oh, it's the new chart in three days. That's okay, well, it is what it is, but it's still, it was on the week, you know, 111. Yeah. And then and just whack onto YouTube and see how many views that's got. Because it's just everywhere, isn't it? And it's a good song. It actually is a good song. Yeah, 40, 478 In two years, million. by the way. Yeah, that's nuts. Unbelievable, Jeff. Well, you know who is catching up with those kind of views? Mr. Beast. Yep. Someone put in our chat, like average, average a, is 100, 100 mil. 100 million views, average. Go on to his channel. It's just mental, man. Mr. Beast is just mental. Well, that video came out a day and a half ago. Yeah. 47 million views. So those who haven't seen this one or heard about it, it's, uh, the title is A Thousand Blind People See for the First Time. In the video, he, well, he, well, he, he, he cures, he, he pays for, I should say, he pays for the surgery. He cures. Yeah. He goes out to them just, oh. <laughs> yeah. He pays for a thousand people's surgery, which is a, apparently a 10 minute procedure and it costs 10,000 per person. And he was saying in the video, there's been a big controversy, controversy about the video, but I think also a lot of people are missing the controversy as well. Cause a lot of, I'll, I'll we'll get into that in a minute, but yeah, like I said, he says in the video that uh, apparently Half of the people who are blind in the world, it could be fixed by doing this procedure that takes ten minutes and it's a thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, which is which is crazy. Um, well, because blindness doesn't necessarily mean you literally can't see anything. Yeah, yeah, there's it's, different grades of it. Yeah. It's not all. That's why, like you know, yeah, some people do think. Some people are like, oh, how come this person's walking down the street? You know, how, but it's, yeah. they're not fully blind. But also, and also got sticks and dogs and stuff. Um, God, that's not very scientific, like sticks and dogs and stuff. But uh, I also saw, I heard him say on Twitter before this video came out that he's changing his edit style a little bit. And it's going to be a bit slower. And it actually was a bit slower. Like, it still had the fast angles. It had the fast yeah, cheat maybe scene a changes. Yeah, tiny bit. But, yeah, but it wasn't, it wasn't more like ADHD, which by the way, I think I've got that. <laughs> Just to but we'll delve in it later. Yeah, Ooh. it was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of was like... <laughs> anyway, um, well, there's a lot of people saying that this it's the typical like charity video thing where it's like I know I hated it. I'm gonna be honest. Someone linked it in our chat th this morning. And was like interesting thread here. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, no, it ain't. People are saying, oh, Mr. Beast, you know, he's only doing this because he makes a video out of it. Yeah. And I'm like, yes, but it's so that he can do it to this many people, earn the money back, so he can do something else amazing. Yeah. Well, I think I think there are three comments that people have on it. Number one, that they think it's a good thing that he's doing it. Number two, that reason that you said that he's just doing it to show off. Yeah. And number three, which I think is what a lot of people are having a go at, but it's getting missed. Companies are taking the headline and making it something that it's not. So a lot of people's criticism of it is not of Mr. Beast, but of the fact that it's that easy to cure it. So they're saying if it's that easy to cure it and Mr. Beast can do it for a thousand people, how come there aren't, you know, charities or governments yeah. actually doing it and not letting it get to this stage? I thought I saw one streamer mention that like, how, why are we putting it behind a paywall? But I, I, I don't know the answer to that. Obviously, you know, that's probably a big debate for a different place. But what's good about it is the fact that like Mr. Beast, I don't know how old he is, like some 25 year old kid has got to the point where he, not only can he like, make videos like like this, he's actually like growing exposure for it. Like we all, yeah. like that whole conversation happening is a good thing because we all know what's going on now. And there might be someone watching it who can make a difference, who didn't know about it before, or there's some person who's going to start a charity and think, oh, actually this is, I'm, I'm going to do the half now or I'm going to do the rest of it, you know? Um, so I think it's, it's only a good thing that can come from it. And also he's a person who he sits there and thinks of ideas to do. So he's going to go and what? He's going to go and give away a private jet to someone or he's going to do this, that, the other. Why not you do something good with it? Yeah. So he, he's making, he's, he's got, he's on his blueprints on his drawing board looking for an idea to make. You can't blame him for doing this, man. It's like, it's a, it, it just annoys me the whole thing of, you can't say, oh, you know, he's only doing it so he, you know, to get recognition that he's done something good. Yeah. It's like, okay, but if you could afford to, you know, get it done for one person. Yeah. Why haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Do you think at this point it just goes to show that people will just criticize anything? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. But also it, it goes to show that the internet's a dangerous place because I've seen people have 
a genuine concern of what's happening in the video. The fact that it's not been done by someone else before and it's, and it's only a YouTuber now to fix it. But then someone will post a headline saying uh, people are fuming about Mr. Beast video and they think that they're fuming about him. Yeah. It's not necessarily, that's the, not necessarily the case. Um, you know, it's just a, people are watching this thing and thinking how this is, how is this possible that no one's done it yet. But um, good video. And, it's, and, it, and again, he's, he's, his job is to make content. He's going to do a different video regardless. I'd rather him do this than, you know, just burn money. So yeah, but it's a cool video and 47 million views in a day. Yeah. Nuts. Yeah. He's been talking about doing that he was going to do this video for a long time. Um, like, he was like a month at least, he's been saying this video is going to come out. Oh, really? How, yeah. So, uh, like, the, what, the blind? The blind. Oh, we yeah, knew that. Pod, okay. On, yeah, on podcasts and stuff like uh, that. I don't know that. talked about it coming out. Yeah. Um, in, in regards to like Sidemen and releasing videos, you guys <laughs> don't like to talk about it. So, clearly, it hasn't damaged that video. How do you now, sometimes you guys do. Wait, talk about what? So, like, he said, John's saying, like, like, he's been saying that this video is coming out for a long time, and he's saying, whereas Sidemen might want to keep ideas hidden. Yeah, I, I think it's more just because like his ideas especially are ones that like no one else is going to do that. Yeah. As much as, you know, he might say, oh, you know, I'm going to go take a thousand people and fix their eyesight. Someone might go, okay, I can do that quick and yeah. I'll just do it to one person. Yeah. And, you know, but I think our ideas realistically are quite easy to, even if you don't do them as well or if you do them better or whatever, you can do it. If we said it an, a, yeah. a month and a half in advance, someone could organize yeah. it and get the title thumbnail out of the way and it could be similar Yeah, compared to that. And there's also levels to it. So like, obviously you guys get like an unreal amount of views. So say if you compare your level of like views as a sideman to mine, say, if I have an idea and say it, but oh, sorry, if you guys say an idea, I'm not necessarily going to be able to go and do that video because I don't have the means to do that because I'm not, I'm not going to get five to 10 million views. So therefore the budget for it can't be there. You know, the camera people, blah, 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 blah. Mr. V to you guys is also similar as well. Like, 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 like you say, no one's like, he's only in a, he's in a competition against himself now. Yeah. Like he's getting 50 million views in a day. No one else is doing that. So who else is he really competing with at that level? So if he says, I'm going to do a video curing a thousand people's blindness, who else is going to go and turn that around better? So it's like, what's, what's, what's the lose? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. Well, you kind of did that, didn't you? You did the ho the holiday video, the hotel yeah. going from one dollar to a million yeah. dollar. I mean, we do sometimes, but it's also another thing of like if we say, you know, oh, this weekend is Among Us v Beta Squad, people already start making their decision up whether they like it or not before yeah. they've seen the video. Yeah. So some people be like, oh, for fuck's sake, why are you doing Among Us? Oh, don't want that. Don't want that. Yeah. Some people start building it up so much and go, oh my god, it's with Beta Squad. Yeah. It's among us, whatever. This is gonna be the best video ever. And then yeah. it can't live up to a standard, and so of course, yeah. I just kind of see it. I think a lot of us just see it as kind of like we hint it, and you know, we said, "Oh, we collab in with Beta Squad," but we just see it as a don't promote it too close to the previous video. Yeah, for let sure. that previous like well, let that video breathe. Yeah, and then we'll start promoting the next one. Well, he's not doing you know, Mr. Beast's not doing one a week either, so it's like yeah. he he probably started promoting that video before it was like that's that's his next video. You know, where, where that's what I'm finding with the song each week as well, which obviously you guys are doing video, it's even more crazy. But it's like, yeah, like you don't have time to promote either. either. So you, it's like, you don't have time to promote the last one and also you don't have time to like pre-promote the new one. Yeah. So you kind of just got to let them go out <laughs> and yeah. just go from there, you know. Um, but it's definitely interesting. Well, speaking of the Cyber video. Yeah. With Beta Squad. Yeah, yeah. You watched it? I actually did. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but <laughs> I've seen the whole thing. Maybe not the last, like, also the intro, your max is a little bit loud. Just turn your no 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 no. It's a bit distorting. No, turn your volume down. Shut up. It's not a problem. Just maybe since the move, maybe you lent on the cable a little bit. Yeah. But the voiceover part. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Why? Yeah. No, I think I was just shouting a little bit too much. It was a good intro though. Don't don't take away from that. Also, it's nice to hear you. know, for those who don't know, obviously you know you're not back on main channel videos. Have been for a while. Yeah. But it's nice to hear your you know voice. Yeah. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm back on main channel. I mean, I have, yeah, as you said, I have been for a while, but um, done quite a few recently. Which ones have you done? Name and shame them. Don't shame them. Um, them. Name and frame them. Well, I did the football one just before Christmas. Yep, seen that one. Done this one. Done one that's out next week. I split that with JJ. Then I've done one that's two thirds filmed and it's nice. being filmed. The other nice. part's being filmed next oh, week. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. on it. Yeah. Busy Enjoying times. Uh, yeah, but they're all just... Oh, and I'm from, um, another one that we're filming next week as well. Nice. So two next week. Damn, it's down. more just... It's just... I like it. 
just they've all been squished together. Yeah, yeah. So true. suddenly, a lot of pressure, thick and fast. Yeah. Bye, James. You'll creep, <laughs> creeping around studio. Yeah, it's it's more just like okay, it's uh, you know, suddenly I've got four videos to organize. Yeah, in yeah. two weeks. Yeah, it's not bad, but it's just I'd rather you know one this month, one next month. Yeah, one yeah, yeah. But yeah, what do you think? What do you think of the video? I thought it was a very good video. Obviously, um, I've seen, I've been in a Among Us in real life before. Yeah. This one definitely leveled up a little bit. Yeah. The tasks were good. Okay. You, you did a good job with the tasks. Thank you. Especially the golf one. Thank looked you. very impressive. Thank you. I also, I also <laughs> laughed out loud at uh, Kenny doing this. Why? Because he got a sick shot, didn't he? Oh. I uh, don't know why. Yeah. It's, for me, it's a small thing that made me laugh. So like, <laughs> he goes, um, Kenny goes, oh, fish shot, fish shot, fish shot. And the ball's like, his ball's just falling down <laughs> the green, but he gets it in, scores it. But yeah, this uh, this video because the thing is, we've always said about collabing with Beta Squad. Yeah, and we've always said like it, we hype it up too much. Same yeah. way we haven't collabed with TGF for eight, we haven't ever. Yeah, because yeah. we keep thinking, oh, what should we do? Let's do this, this video. Yeah. Has to be amazing. Has to be this. Has to be this. This shot here, look. <laughs> Watch. Oh. Oh yeah, no, the ball falls back. Look, keeps falling back. Keeps falling back. Keeps falling back. He gets annoyed and just whacks it, <laughs> but it goes in. <laughs> Wait for it. Bang. Jeez. A bouncer. But yeah, sometimes it's not about the, the pressure can be too much, can't it? You think, oh, it has to be this, that, the other. That's, that's, that, by the way, that was me releasing music. I was like, it has to be a sick song. Six, six, and I was like, it doesn't have to be. Just put it out. Well, we also realized that Beta Squad are probably the most like accessible people to us and us to them. Yeah, yeah. yeah like we're sense. literally, we're both in the UK, yeah. around London. We and you're all friends anything. anyway. And we, yeah, we're friends. Yeah, it's not yeah. like we have to actually go organize it, like uh, schedules and that. Yeah, of course. But it's so easy. Yeah. As long as everyone's free. Yeah. yeah. So we just said like, let's just do this. And then if we do have an amazing idea that comes up, way bigger, way better. Yeah. We can do another one. The uh, the editing definitely is improving on the um, Seven Sunday main channel. Yeah. That's, that's like the most key thing we're focused yeah. on. Yeah. It's not necessarily like, it's not the, it's stuff like that. It's not the pacing that's like, the biggest change for me, it's the small bits that add yeah. to it. Like when Josh is doing- The subtleties. Yeah, Josh is doing Where's Wally? And it's like Zerka's coldest moments because he finds it quick, then you do it. And it's like um, Simon, Simon leaves Simon to go and do pro Where's Wally. <laughs> it's like those things are really cool. I like them a lot, adds to it. Um, you know, and it makes, it makes people want to come back, you know, when and in the Belgian one when they put JJ's fight in the corner. Yeah. Little stuff like that. It's very small, very easy to do, but it just adds like a lot of fun to it. So I know there was, there was a couple th- uh, comments that got annoyed at Nico Why? because when he dies, he obviously shouts. Oh yeah. And some people were like, oh, he's, he's ruining it. He's ruining it. But I think it's, it's one of those things where it's like, it's, it's a game, but it's also content. So it's like that adds to the content. Yeah. It, it ruins, it could ruin the game a little bit, but it's about the video first and foremost. And it happens a lot in having videos. Yeah. You know, like obviously we, we like I was doing, me and Josh were doing um, the, Big fat quiz at the end of the year, or whatever it's called, and I was just googling the answer. Yeah. Like, obviously, I'm cheating. Yeah, it's like, it's it like oh, the you're ruining it because you're cheating. But <laughs> yeah, you, you're doing it for yeah. You're not actually trying to win that, <laughs> no, that hard. No, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I also saw comments about this yeah. that said about um, doing Among Us without like the meetings or like other stuff. Okay, yeah, Among Us, it doesn't work. No, it doesn't, it doesn't no. work. None of the Among Us stuff works in real life yeah because firstly some people said venting and i was like that's the most that's the dumbest thing i've ever heard in my life like, well, like, how do you implement that well how do i go from <laughs> yeah one just... side of the house to the other by just <laughs> jumping in something but yeah there? unless you can create like a like a some sort of play area slide that goes from the top all the way down to the bottom how yeah do you do that? but then you can't do it up yeah you true, literally can only true. do it one way well you could you could get you know it's called snakes and ladders Simon. true secondly we're in we're both wearing the trousers <laughs> secondly a lot of people were like about the lights, because you know how obviously you can sabotage, you can turn off lights. Yeah. But I'm like, the, the person who's the killer, so JJ or whatever. <laughs> Got walking around with an iPad. <laughs> he also doesn't have a better vision than people. <laughs> <laughs> so if true. the light goes off for everyone, he, he sees what they yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. And then the third one, which was the most talked about, was meetings. Yeah. The issue with that for me is if you, in the game, yeah. call a meeting, yeah. everyone gets teleported there. Mm-hmm. Done. If you get, Called, if there's a meeting there, say it's in the hallway, yeah. you have to walk through yeah. and you'll see something. Like and, what if there's- Yeah, and the real task as well. So you're in the middle of a real task that is like hard to do. You go for a meeting and what? You're gonna go and finish it off again. It's like- Yeah, they were quite quick though. The well, not the, not, the, not the jigsaw one. True. <laughs> but the, the main thing for, would be like, 
if I'm doing the balloon pop, yeah, and then they call a meeting, I walk down the stairs, I can see into all the rooms if there's a body, True. and then go down the stairs again, can see who's left. Yeah. By that point, I can probably figure out who, who's- And you'll talk as well. Like, be, like there'll be conversation on the way there, won't they? Yeah. Like, oh, you know. And blah, blah, blah. like the first the first thing I reckon, as soon as Nico shouted, yeah, we would have gone, all right, meeting. We've heard him die, meeting. Uh, it's probably, it's JJ or AJ. Yeah. Let's vote our JJ. Yeah, yeah. Cool, video's done. <laughs> yeah, so true. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, it's, it's like comparing a game. It's like, it's like saying, let's go and play like, oh, Modern Warfare 2 in real life, paintball edition. But then everyone's like, well, what, you guys aren't dying. Yeah. Well, you, you're just going to put your hand up if I shoot you. <laughs> yeah, true. That's not what happens. You have to respawn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just, yeah. yeah. But I thought it was a good video, man. And, and I liked it. How, how's it doing, performing? It is two out of 10. Oh, uh, obviously Big one video. Kai Senate. Yeah. Yeah. Which has absolutely flown. Has it? What's, can you click this out? 18 channel? mil. Damn. That's actually mental. Yeah. Can you, can you, wait, can you go on, can you just type into the search on the channel, like 20 on, on, on the bottom? Yeah, tap that, type 20 on that. Will that, will that filter it properly? Yeah, nice. I want to see, oh. What? There's more. Oh, why, why is beta squad coming up? Because it's relevant. It's new. Oh, okay, okay. Um, Kylox edition. Because I remember when like, and can you go on the, the KSI version or compare KSI and Kylox views? Because Kylox was like, there's JJ's. He was like, my video's gonna beat yours in views. And it, and it, it was, at the time, it was actually quite close. It was catching up, yeah. Yeah, yeah but then, then JJ just took away. Yeah, now Kai's got more than Kalux in, what, a week? <laughs> There's no <laughs> need for that. <laughs> what, it's just no a joke. Need. It's just a harmless joke. It's not, I don't mean it. I Wait, mean, where's Logan's? Is this below? There it is. 18, oh, wow. mad. <laughs> this, this must be, well, go up. This must be the, is it gonna be the most views? No, Philly's is 30. But this Kai might catch that. Yeah. And keep going up. There's one more that was Gideon. Harry's 31. Harry, 31. Yeah. Philly's bang then. Yeah, Philly's did numbers. Damn, nice. Yeah. So 18 million, eight days. Whew. Yeah. Wow. And people are saying not only, like people are saying the tide of 20 versus ones, but like, how can you not do this? It's getting that. It's always a, like, it's the same when I was talking about the beta squad video. It's a small vocal minority yeah. that are saying it. Yeah, Realistically, yeah. it's like. So it's Twitter. Well, I didn't see Twitter. No, you don't. Mine was, I mine like, was YouTube comments. Ah, okay. Yeah. But you probably delve into like new. Uh, no, but I look at it when the video is coming out. Yeah, yeah. So I don't see the like. Like it's not top after like a week. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, man. Well, what's next? What's next for Sidemen and Beta Squad or Sidemen and? Well, I mean, we've done, they've been in our video. Are you going to do one for them? Point. Yeah. Or have you done it? We haven't. Ah. Because this is the issue, like they were all, they were talking about, oh yeah, maybe we could do this for our channel. And I was like, genuinely down, but schedule. our schedule, yeah. like I hate saying the same thing I said about doing a Cole Anderson's yeah, yeah. podcast. Yeah. I have to say, can you check back in a month? Yeah. Then yeah. it sounds like I don't want to do it. Yeah. And then it sounds like Sidemen are trying to get out of it, but we're actually down. Well, you wish that, you wish the Sidemen organized their travels better, don't you? So you like, you're saying like, we, we got, we, like there could be days where you're all free. Yeah. And there are days where like, you know, you, you could bunch up like travel and stuff. Yeah. You know, one thing I want to know about that Simon video yes. is the budget. Cause you did tell me, I think off camera that it was getting quite spending some of the tasks. Yeah, that they, one. They were good, man. They were like, the golf one was very impressive. It's, that's not just like a little put together thing. And also it was branded, right? It had Simon on it. Yeah. It's it, not cheap, it did guys. Start, it's not cheap. <laughs> it did start racking up. Yeah. I think it was somewhere between like 40 and 50 or something like that. Pounds. Yeah. <laughs> No. Might have been like 30. Might like 40 to 50,000 guys. <laughs> Might have been like 30,000 pounds. But it was somewhere between that and 50. But yeah. it was because certain things like, I mean, hiring the house. This is including, you know, hiring the house, all the, the crew, all the props, yeah. everything. Um, yeah, it is, it is mad. I did, the, the crazy part is that's like relatively low. Uh, for a sideman video, uh, it kind of depends because realistically, like, Belgium, I know we're paying flights and hotel. Yeah. There was a private jet in that as well, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Forgot that one. <laughs> but like, if you look at one of the other teams, like Harry's team. Okay, yeah. They've, you know. Oh, they got they got absolutely done dirty on the bikes as well, man. But that's what I mean. Like, yeah. And then the other team, couple trains. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Which yeah, still yeah. cost a bit of money, but like, they're a bit actually. I guess in that video, the, the most expensive thing would have been like, um, hotel and travel for the crew and for the people involved. Yeah, or the private jet. But. Yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> but I'm, I'm saying stuff outside of the actual video itself that you don't see. Yeah, that's, that's, that's more like that. That's not in the video. That's just that's just like admin costs yeah. of getting it's everyone. Some BTS there. though. Oh yeah, true. Some BTS. <laughs> you want to check it out on Side Plus? Yeah, Side Plus. Subscribe now. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I want to. I actually do want to know because I, you know, what? I was really annoyed because there's a question here on the podcast that John wrote about whose house it was. John, <laughs> when I was watching, it, I was actually genuinely like, "I wonder whose house." It I is. was trying to figure it out. You don't I, know? No, I really and wanted also, to know. Even if you didn't know, I wouldn't want to say on here. Yeah, true. Yeah, just no. We were, we were trying to figure out because they had all the shirts, but like uh, Rashford the- and other people as well. Like and- I was thinking, if it's a footballer, they would have just like their team. If sorry, if they were a fan, it'd be just their team. But it wasn't. It was everyone. Had, so it's just yeah. a player. I don't think an agent. So. It could be. It could very well be. But Spurs. Well, that's what I found weird. They had, they had Spurs. There's two Spurs ones. Ah. There was also a Arsenal Hurricane's shirt. House. Hurricane's, Hurricane's house. He's yeah. an Arsenal fan, right? No. Ah. Because the name Kyung Ming Sun. <laughs> well, they had they had a lot of those shirts signed to them. What does not it, just signed to who then? I can't remember what the exact. It was only a first name, obviously. Damn it! You know they're not going to sign it to you and have your whole name. <laughs> but they Christ- had um, two Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm going to do that. <laughs> we figured out what they did. We know what they do. Uh, uh yes, they. Se- I assume I can say they deal with watches. Well, obviously, well, it's James then. <laughs> That's literally what we all said on the day. James Frames, man. <laughs> big, it was big such a time. like. It was such a, like a bougie house. Well, you know, the thing is, right. Now, people watching will probably hate me for this. There's there's like, there's expensive houses. Then there are expensive houses that look sick, like this one. And this is clearly like thought out inside. Yeah. I've seen some houses on like right move or just seeing. It's like six million quid. And you look at the interior and you're like, what the hell? This is yeah. gross. And then obviously, I'm obviously like, you can't put your nose up at a house that's worth that much money. But it's like, who lived here, man? You got no, you're so boring. <laughs> but this is like clearly look. It's got neon under. Well, that's like, that's, like, that's a Simon added thing, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying if this did, if that was like a neon pool table, you think that's cool, man? Well, like that room was really cool. Like you had the pool table, you had a table tennis table, the little, 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 TV. little sex couch look. Yeah, little love, love, you know. Couple of them. There's another one in that the background on the left. You know, you can have more than one. Yeah, that sex. office as well. That was mad. Yeah, I did. I, I'm not gonna lie. I would hate it. <laughs> it's so. Um, <laughs> I get you. I get you. It feels very lonely. Like, well, so if, if no one comes up there, the glass was cool. Yeah. But it does like. How often are you actually going to go there? But when I'm probably, I'm probably there all the time. When I'm working, like streaming and that. You'd want to stream from that. No. You would, not it? No, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm saying if that was my, if that, if that was my office, obviously I would go to my office. Yeah. You know. Did the video show how much Lego he had in there. Don't think so. Well, John, uh, now you're just exposing the poor guy, man. No, he's, he's, I've rated it. He had, he had loads of really. Cool Laura, levels, Laura bought me a uh, stormtrooper Lego helmet for yeah. my birthday one year. Don't know why, by the way. It's <laughs> yeah. cool, cool though. We never put it together. She bought it for thirty pounds. It's now over a hundred. Mad. So yeah, I'm buying my course for investment coming soon. <laughs> I'll show you how to do it. Oh, the chicken wings in this was so buff, but sad ones. Yeah. This this was the this was the day before. Um, this was the the day of the meal, the last troops meal. Yeah. It and was. some people's stomachs were spoiled because they had too many hot wings. Well, there was only meant to be two hot wings, right? There was meant to be there was meant to be like 11, 11 wings, two of them hot. Mm. Also. I'm surprised that you didn't ask. Where was Ethan? Bro, I'm going to get there, man. <laughs> That's, I was leading to the troops meal. Then I was going to say Ethan didn't go to the troops meal because okay, of his I'll ankle, get there. I'll get which there. is also why I wasn't well, in this video. Okay, well, now we've said it. Yeah. Yeah, he hurt his ankle the night before yeah, or the we'll, day before. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do a clip in a minute. Huh? I'll answer the first thing before. Oh, okay. No, wings. I was just going to say the, two out of 11 wings. the wings. Um, there was only maybe two hot ones. Yeah. We did the first round and uh, there was there was the two hot wings. I think yeah. AJ got one and someone else got one. And Nico ended up eating like all of them. So we Classic kept, Nico, man. We kept going over being like, all right, someone's got to do this task. And it's like, he's just got eight wings eaten <laughs> on his plate. And then um, we did the second round. Yeah. But be- between the rounds, he put out a new batch. Ah, who's he? The, wingman. Uh, the guy who was doing the wings. Wingman. And I'm <laughs> so, like- Wingman. <laughs> no, but for real though. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> also shout out, shout out for getting a man as a prop. The yeah. Riddler Man. Huh? The Riddle Man. Yeah. He has been in multiple videos. Oh. He was in our cheaply expensive Christmas day. Wow. He was the elf statue. Is he someone that you know? No. He's just a good good extra. But well, this is this is the nuts one, right? So he was he was the elf person in the Christmas video. Of course. If you get uh the cheap versus expensive Christmas. Of course. Then did you ever watch the Sidemen show? You can say no. <laughs> no. I watched two episodes. The one with Jack Whitehall where- I did watch that one. I watched, I watched that one at the premiere. Where JJ turned into the statue. Yeah? No shot. So the original statue. No way. Is, Wait, you, just, you just kept his number? I don't know how it worked. No, so it, you, you'll have to click the top right. I've, I've you'll seen have to it, click I've the actual episode. I've seen this one, guys. So where he- um, 
this guy. <laughs> Why is Josh running like that? Oh no, it's just before this. I really should have watched this whole thing though. I'm sorry that I didn't. Uh, it's it's not. It's, I'm gonna be honest. Well, because the thing is, because you yeah, because you guys always, kept always saying that. I was like, I'm, I'm like, watching. You guys, like, it's not worth it. <laughs> it's a bit of fun. Yeah, yeah. Is this it or no? Yeah, this this guy. So this guy here. Three, two, one. Him. That is. I recognize him. The Riddler. I recognize him from the Vegas Squad video. Simon video with yeah, Vegas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but that's isn't that nuts? That was that was like four years ago. And five they years ago. they employed him for this, or he was just a random guy on the street. Surely the Simon Show producers employed him. Yeah, no, it must be. It must I be. assume so. Because that's how you know. Yeah, I TP's assume got his so. number. You know, maybe she's got his digits. And but he's them. just weird. He's just come back suddenly. Maybe they Google like you know extra who's willing to paint themselves, and he comes up. <laughs> you know, um, but the riddle was cool. I also like the fact that you and correct me if I'm wrong here. You actually like altered tasks between rounds. Not really. Well, yeah. Only because, the puzzle. Yeah, that's one of the last I was going to bring up. Yeah, only that. And I swear there was Limbo. Limbo wasn't in the first one. Yeah, it was. Oh, it wasn't shown then. Uh, it was. Was it? Yeah, I'm pretty certain people do it straight away. Like chunks go uh, straight up there. Ah, uh, okay, fair enough. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I thought the tasks were decent. I was happy with them. Good tasks, man. Visually yeah. good and also entertainingly good. Wally was like a nice change of pace as well. Like, you know, like, all these crazy tasks, then you've got to look for Wally in a book. Yeah. But I love Wally. Well, did you know in America it's called Wells Waldo? Yeah. You wouldn't know that because you do YouTube, didn't you? <laughs> I did want to make, I did want to empty the office though and make it like a massive room yeah. that just has a book. That would be sick. And that's it. That'd be so, so cool. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah, Ethan was not in the video. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Controversially, Ethan was not in the most recent Simon Sunday. <laughs> Why was that? I, he couldn't be bothered to turn up. Nuts, this right? This guy. No, he had a pole ankle. Yeah, he did, yeah. <laughs> He, but uh, he did go play football a day after. Did he? No, I don't think he did. Oh. I just, <laughs> just stirring the pot. Oh. <laughs> no, he hurt it playing football the day before. Ah, uh, that's what I'm thinking of. Um, and then that day was like, lads, my foot is in so much yeah, pain. Yeah. Going to go get it checked out tomorrow morning or tonight or something. Then the next morning, kind of didn't say anything. And I was kind of like, okay. Uh, like, yeah. I assume he's okay. Put in the chat an hour before we're shooting. You come in. It's like, no, nah, lads, I can't walk. For the day afterwards? The day of the shoot. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was so, like, yeah, yeah, I can't yeah, walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay. So that's one person down. And then yeah. we had our troops meal. Yeah. I remember we were all sitting there going, if he do, if he comes to this troops meal, yeah, true. <laughs> he's getting a yellow card. Well, the thing is, but I, I think like, when I was at the meal, I was thinking he could have also just been like, like, I probably can go to the meal, but not the shoot. If you just said that though, right? Cause nah, because the, there's things, he could have been the riddle guy. Uh, no, okay, I see what you're saying. Like, yeah. the fact that he didn't yeah. come to the meal was like a, like, it was proof that he was actually in pain. No, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Because yeah. he could have, he didn't have to do the task, but he could have, because I'm thinking, you know, you go to a meal, you just sit down the whole time, whereas for a shoot, you're walking around, but you're, yeah, he could have been the Riddler. Yeah. But I mean, he could have been anything. Like, good job trying to replace the Riddler because that guy's unreal. <laughs> you know, uh, the TV's going to turn off. Just letting you guys know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, a good video. Um, we did say that meal was a bit dry. It was a little bit dry. Maybe it's because you guys were farting around all day filming. Maybe next time you should be less busy. And, you yeah, know, everyone was everyone was just like tired. And, no, I know. It, it yeah. wasn't a bad meal. It was just also, right, like I'll say those troops meals, they're fun because everyone goes like, we're, you know, we're chatting, nothing on camera. You know, it gets a bit rowdy in there. So we, we, we'll get a private room, you know, which you, got, you guys might think it's bougie, but it's not. It's just the fact that there's 10 of us, you know, so it's yeah. like a lot of people. This private room was not a private room. Yeah. It was just... <laughs> Twigs, it's just like wooden. wooden. They had a door, but no walls. <laughs> yeah, so, so like, it's like you, you walk can't... through the door into this private room, but you can still see everyone and hear everyone. Yeah, so there's no lads chat, there's no controversial chat. But I was like, I don't give a fuck. I'll, I'll say whatever, and then I did, and no one laughed. And I'm like, guys, what? But I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying to like prove that we can still talk about anything. But no, it just went quite like work related, and it was good. It was, the thing it is, was like, good. It was nice. We we have to remember that we were going to do it once every month. We didn't last year. This year. Well, one month in, but we're looking strong so far. Um, yeah. But that last one we had was, we hadn't seen each other for a long time altogether. Whereas this one, we, obviously there's a closer gap. So it's like, what is what much is there to catch up on? JJ also hyped up too much. Because he, well, he, he had kept his five. Saying like, but he also kept going, lads, I cannot wait for this meal. Yeah, like, yeah. it's going to be unreal. Like, yeah, yeah. it's going to be so funny. Like, everyone's going to be on point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, all of this is, also, no one can live up to it. Too dark. It was too and dark. I will say, People I want, I want to say this now. You know, in the last podcast when we spoke about the last troops meal, you were saying that guy was annoying, okay? And I, I, I can understand that, but you have to admit he did add something to that night. No. Fuck off. <laughs> he does, man. I He's, stand by it. No, but, but it's better than having no one. 
No. They kept taking my menu. By the way, when, when I go to these meals, guys, I, I had to go through the cocktails. I had to start on a They always one. take it away. And they, in this one, they kept taking it away. And I kept, like, can I have the menu back, please? Because the, the, the last guy, I said to that guy, I was like, I want every cocktail. And when I finish one, then you just bring, bring the, next the next one. Yeah. And he would just do that. Whereas, like, uh, I had to keep asking, and they just made me feel really bad. Yeah. Which is, which is bad. You shouldn't drink that much. Yeah. But um, also, yeah, yeah. big news. I have moved. Woo! I'm in my house, and we have a dog. Unbelievable. Yeah. I've seen it. Well, not in real life. I've seen a yeah. picture of it. I, I've fat had to look after the dog. Talia's done a lot of it as well. Honestly, you have no idea what it's like looking after something. <laughs> well, you're, you're saying that because I have got a baby, but I will say, <laughs> I will say, this is going to sound. You know what? I didn't expect you to pick up on that. <laughs> I'm very smart. <laughs> I went on the uh, Cole Anderson and Jack Joseph podcast, and the comments were like, "Wow, finally, like, like, like wow, Randy on a podcast and still the smartest guy in the room." That's crazy because they, they were insulting those guys. I'm thinking, wow, I'm just known as the dumb guy. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what you're supposed to say. Nah, man. Uh, no, I don't know. I know. That's the last time where you didn't know they were called randoms. <laughs> yeah, and also, you know, people were saying I was lying. Cause, cause it's I, in, because you say it right. Yeah, but, it's cause, but, I, but I think I say it wrong. That's the thing. Yeah. Like, I think I say you go, it wrong. Oh, you know, randoms. Randoms. Yeah, randoms. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but, and all, yeah, yeah. No, I, anyway, anyway, what we're, we're talking about here, we're talking about the dog. No, what I will say, by the way, is that the dog? Yeah. Looks different on that photo than the photo I saw. Yeah. Looks great. Now it's, blue, now it's brown again. Cool. Just lighting, lighting. <laughs> but what I will say, I'm trying to get to it, is obviously a baby is way harder to look after than a dog, but they're very different. And I think it's because one is a dog, one's a baby. So I think you care more about a baby. <laughs> oh my God. How, how have you figured that out? <laughs> what I'm saying is, right, what I'm saying is, it doesn't feel as much of a burden with the baby because it's like a baby and it's such more, like, loved than the dog. I'm not saying you don't love your dog. I, I'm saying, I like, get what you're saying. You don't put it at 4 a.m. You're like, oh, fuck's sake, man, the dog. It's like, you're not really like, you're not like, oh, fuck's sake, baby, man. Because you just, you know. It's a huge, like, it's, a, it's, it's going to be, it. yeah, it's yeah, gonna yeah. be a person. Like, yeah, yeah. you were that. Yeah, man. Like, that was you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, I'm not going to ever compare a dog to a, a no, baby. But you can though. No, you can you can compare the way you look after the, you know, because, you know, the, the, but yeah, I know what you're saying. There's saying. aspects that yeah. you can compare. Like for example, but, I would not want to get a dog, but I've got a baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, like I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be bothered to look after a dog, but obviously I can be bothered to look after a baby, but it's because the stakes are higher. Like, yeah. you know, does that make sense? Yeah. But um, yeah, this dog. Is it funny? It's so chill. You call it Mewtwo, right? Mushu. <sighs> It's called Mushu. It's called Mewtwo all along, man. No, uh, I put it in the chat. I put Mushu. Yeah. And everyone started going, it looks more like a Bruce. <laughs> and they were, they were almost like, they were trying to convince me to change it to Bruce. <laughs> but then Freezy's like, oh no, Mushu. Like, is it, ain't that an ice cream? To be fair, I know this is called Mushu, right? But the, the, the dragon from Mulan. Because you, you and Toby were like, oh, can't, have you guys not seen Mulan? I've seen Mulan. I don't know what the fucking dragon's called. No, no, no. But it was more because, right? Freezy thought it was an ice cream. He uh, thought it was mochi. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. To be fair, he was that, like, "That's that squishy that ice cream." That would be a it? great name we for your think, dog. We did it's think a it. Fat little scrunchy thing. We we actually thought about mochi if we got a girl. Yeah, but we were like, "It's a boy." Mushu. I also call it mochi. Oh yeah, no. I, I personally, I'm I'm very you know. Also, also, yeah, Harry was like, "How do you pronounce it? Is it <laughs> is it mushu or is it mushu?" <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, the dog is do you very it? chill. Do you like just push it over? No, I would do that because it looks like it's like loves being on the floor. So I, he he loves Talia though. Of course, yeah, of course. As in like, I'll go over. I get like two seconds of stroking him. Yeah, it darts off to Talia. I'm guessing it spends more time with her. Talia, right? He does, but like now it's a case of he spends more time with her because he runs away uh, <laughs> to spend so time she, with does her. She feed him more. Not even. Oh. He's so un. Uh, I don't know what, he doesn't value food like that. Wow, you'd think it would because it's so fat. <laughs> <laughs> like as in, it's not one of those things where if I put a treat out, yeah, like sometimes it just won't even bother. How old is the dog? Uh, like nine, 10 weeks. Doesn't know yet. I reckon when it gets, when it gets big, it'll love food. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's well, cause like, so fluffy. My baby and most babies obviously just like prefer the mum because that's just gives, gives the baby food. Yeah. And I feel like some dads could be like, oh my God, like the baby hates me. Well, like, I want to see, I want to see the next person that comes around because so far Kara and Alam came around. Yeah. And he straight away went over to Kara. Uh, Still a little bit standoffish. Dog loves women. Yeah. Yeah. And then Tali's sister came over again, did not like Alam. Not many of us do, but <laughs> the fact that it's like- Did they take their dog or are they not old enough yet to meet each other? Uh, they are, but it was a bit like, this was the second day we've yeah, had the dog. Yeah, true. Let's not force it. Yeah. Man, what, they, what, what type of dog did they got? Same one? 
No, they have a. What's like the? It's it's like a really corgi. Ah, oh, okay. Remember the name. When they're so small, they look similar. I think our dogs are really bigger than this. Yeah, like by but, quite a bit. I think our dogs, what theirs is meant to grow to. Oh wow, Max or something <laughs> like that. Get a good Elon's dog. Yeah, small fucking dog, man. <laughs> our dog will eat your dog. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Nothing looks something nothing like your dog. No. Apologies for what I said. But yeah, well, it, I thought, how did it get there? That's why he was. That's why he was annoyed. Because uh, he was like, he, <laughs> "What's the tweet? Instagram saw it first, but enjoy a picture of pudding sitting on top of her food box." Oh, it was a bad caption. It was a bad caption. Yeah, thing. I'd, I'd have put, "How the fuck did this dog get there?" <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, funny dog. Is it, life has changed massively? Cause yeah, because now your house. What's your travel and, like? Uh, it's all right. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm. I want to try and not come into London as much yeah, as possible, yeah, but yeah. Uh, just try and pack it in when I do. Yeah, but pack it in. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you, I could have read that as like, give, give up. Oh yeah, know, yeah, pack it in. Yeah. Can't be bothered. No, I just like having like the space, and I think this week my setup should be finished. Oh, banging. So banging. It's like once that's done, I've got my house. It's done. Everything is finished. Yeah, we have our dog. I just want to be at home. Bro, you're not something funny. I'll just tell you this, right? I've got a desk where I do Pokemon unboxings now. Yeah. It's a standing desk, so I stand. On when I do Pokemon videos. Shock. But I put it all, I put it all the way at the highest it goes. You, yeah. you saw a picture I did last time. 126. Yeah, the highest it goes. Yeah, that, yeah. that one, right? Um, and, and, and so it's very shaky. Yeah. So when I'm doing Pokemon, and, and then also my camera was attached to the desk. So not only is the desk shaky, the camera's shaky. Okay. So now what I've done right is I drilled, well, my, well, my dad drilled, let's be honest, I didn't do that. But I, <laughs> I directed them, you know, left, yeah. right, left, right. Still wasn't in the middle. Fucking yep. hell. Anyway, um, now I've drilled my camera mount into the ceiling. So the camera cannot move at all. It still fucking wobbles. Because the desk wobbles, so angry, so annoying, man. You know how annoying it is to watch a Pokemon video and you see the camera moving. But surely you're not really touching the table. I have to because it's so high. Because I'm like, I'm like this. You should lower it a little bit. If I lower it, I don't look as cool. Not, not as cool. <laughs> I don't fit the frame. Anyway, but you know, so now I'm trying to because these standing desks go so high and they're not, they're not support with three legs, four legs because it's just they wobble loads. Need a better desk. I don't know what to tell you. No, no, no. The desk's good because it was a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> but it actually, it's a wicked desk. It's just so high. What I'll do, I should put some weights on top of it. I'm going to put some weights on top of it. And I'm going to get a stick of wood underneath that, like. So that still won't help, will it? Yeah, it will. Because no, the, then it's just more top heavy. <sighs> yeah, you're so right. It's even more. Okay, well, well, I've not done that yet. So I'll, I'll scratch off the list. Just some more. If anything, you should add a third leg. I'm going to do that. I'm going to add four. Okay. But like two, but, and that, but the thing is I can't move it down then because obviously, but I'll take True. it away. I'll just put it there when I'm doing Pokemon and then take it away. But that's it for the podcast, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you should use? What? You should use an Elgato key light um, stand yeah. that you can obviously like elongate. Yeah. And just put it underneath and push it up. I've tried it, man. It, it's just not hot tall enough. There's something like that though. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you see what I'm I, saying? I've like done a, that. I've literally done that. Like a curtain rail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Curtain where rail. you can like, like twist it yeah, and pull up true, and it's done. Oh, that was a good idea. Last that. thing for today. Yeah. Boxing. Oh my We're not going to talk God. about normal boxing. Well, when, when, when are these though? This is March 4th. So like next week's was still valid. I mean, we could talk about it next week. When, 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 and Clash of Creators. When is that one? That's also not yet, right? Clash, yeah, Clash of Creators in April. Oh. Let's just do that next one. We'll do it way nearer the event. Yeah, we won't yeah, even yeah. do it. We won't even do it. Okay, yeah. We might do it next time. I don't know. We'll do it way nearer the event. But yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's podcast. Sorry, it's a bit shorter, but um, we got lives to live. Should have said, sorry, it's a bit shorter, but Randy's got a daughter that he has to go home to. It rhymes. Shorter daughter. Yeah. <laughs>